In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace this broken LCD laptop screen in possibly the easiest laptop screen replacement I've ever done, and I believe anyone can actually do this very easily. Coming up, roll the intro. <laughs> Hey Nimtex and welcome, this is Ash from Hill My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. So today I've got this uh, laptop which is a Lenovo IdeaPad 31015 ISK. I'm going to put uh, the link below in the description for where you can check out the specs for this laptop. What's happened is that the LCD screen inside is damaged and uh, I'm going to show you today how to replace this very easily. So before you proceed to order any LCD screen for that, you need to make sure that it's actually the LCD screen not working because it could also be a problem somewhere else. So the first thing to do uh, on this laptop, there is two um, ports for the video. There is a HDMI and a VGA. So the first thing to do is to plug either the um, VGA or the HDMI uh, cable into a separate monitor that you know works and turn the laptop on. And if the laptop turns on, as you can see in the picture, I've checked it, it's working fine. Then you can go ahead and proceed with ordering an LCD replacement for this. And I'm gonna put a link below for where I got the screen for this brand new. It cost me just under 30 pounds and uh, it's quite easily found on eBay or Amazon or anywhere else that you choose to. But to try and remember to get something from a reputable seller and brand new is always best with a return warranty. Now, the other thing as well, this kind of laptop that um, it's a bit difficult because the battery is not really easy accessible to remove. It's always best to work with the battery off on any device um, so they can avoid problems. However, I'm pretty confident what I'm going to do today. So one thing you could actually do is if you know that the laptop is working, you can use it connected to a different monitor and uh, just completely discharge the battery. It's not the absolute safest possible, but it's safer than just going in straight, okay? Uh, you could also completely dis disassemble this and remove the battery and then replace the screen, but it's going to be quite a lengthy tutorial and a lengthy process. A lot of us don't want to do this. So don't attempt this if you're not sure. I am... Uh, hopefully confident so I'm going not going to damage anything right so the tools you're going to need for this is simply like a, a flat um, hopefully not metallic but you can use a plastic spudger or a flat screwdriver and uh, you're going to need a small screwdriver and that's about it really and uh, it's, a, it's a Phillips screwdriver now this laptop you're going to need to remove this bezel and you're going to find the LCD screen behind, which is going to look something like that. Now, if you want to make sure uh, before you order the LCD screen, if you're just typing in the laptop model and you're getting a few different um, models of LCD screens, the best thing to do is to open that first. And because at the back, you are going to have something like that. And when you can see the model, and then you can just go ahead and order the correct model for your laptop. All right. Uh, I'm using this the cotton box which the LCD screen came in as a surface just to protect uh, static electricity. Do remember to use anti-static bracelet and work on an anti-static free um, surface to avoid any problems. Right, so quite easy. So the bezel, all you need to do is at the corner, sorry if you can't see that, at the corner, I started from one corner and I actually just used my finger and it popped off, right? From the back, from the back there. That's all you need to do. It pops off and you work your way around and you keep popping off. If it's not coming off, use a plastic spudger or a small screwdriver. Just pry, just pry it in there and it will start popping off, okay? Be careful though, it is secured by tabs and you may damage something if you don't know what you're doing. So just undo that. The bezel should pretty much come quite easily, okay? Just work your way around and just pops off. Very, very easy. This is one of the easiest laptop screens to take off. Now, you've got the laptop screen. You've got screws. There's one, two, three, and four here. And you're going to just use a small screwdriver and release that. Do remember, this laptop still has some battery charge in it. So avoid touching the uh, button so you don't turn it on. Um, 
while I'm unscrewing that, one, another tip for you is to use a Linux uh, live disk if you can access the laptop and just to test for other components. And I've explained this in uh, a different video. I'm going to show you a link up above in the link and in the description below where you need to, you can use a Linux live disk to test for everything except for the hard disk. Um, actually, you can also test the hard disk, but it's a bit limited. That's just an extra thing you can do just to make sure it's not your LCD. It could be the graphics, you know, on the motherboard or the motherboard itself, which is damaged and you're not, you're not going to know. Right. So these screws remove quite easily, put them in a secure place. Um, and then all you're going to need to do is to pull this up. Right. This will come off, but don't pull straight away. It is connected through a cable here. And there's a connector at the back. I'm going to show you. Let's bring this up close. It's this connector there. It's very fragile. So it's this one. So you're going to need to gently pull up the plastic and pull away and up so it will release. I'm going to use a plastic spurger to peel it off. You can use your fingers. No problem. Right. So let me show you up close. Just pull this off, okay, like so, and grab it from the base and pull away. There you go, it comes off. It's quite delicate, be careful not to break it. And that should now help you just remove the token LCD. You can keep that or throw it away, you can DIY it to something, who knows, some white nice reflector down there. Okay, let's put that away. Now you can grab your new LCD screen. And what I would advise is to, at the back, there's a plastic there, there's a cover, it says do not touch, don't remove anything, just put the tap back in there, the same way, you slide it in, okay, make sure it's snug in, and then you can close the plastic again, alright, and that's it. Now before you screw everything back, there's two more steps, the first step is to test if it's working so go ahead and turn your laptop on if you had removed the battery time to connect everything back in we we'll turn the laptop on and you can see the Lenovo logo coming up I'm quite happy with that and uh, you can make sure it's complete turn on if you, if you wish well, this has got a normal hard disk drive, which is why it's taking so long. So client or anyone watching this, I would advise if you've got a laptop, please upgrade to an SSD. Go and watch this video, which I made called Never Buy a Laptop. Uh, also, a bit of a controversial title where I also advise how, if you do need a laptop, what to do. Definitely the way to go is with an SSD. Okay, now that the laptop has turned back on, I hope you can see there is, uh, you know, something on the screen. Uh, I do apologize, it's a bit blurry, it's a bit dark because it's on reserve battery and I can't seem to be able to turn the brightness up right now. There is also a protective film plastic which you need to remove. Let's hope it makes a difference if we remove it. And before you shut anything down, it's a good idea to uh, log into Windows, you know, and then just check everything. Hopefully plug back the uh, charger so you can check uh, for the brightness as well. Okay guys, now that the laptop is switched off, all you need to do is to gather your screws and put that bad boy back in. And after you've done that, just put the bezel back and the job is done. One of the easiest, if not the easiest laptop screen I've ever replaced. Do remember, to be more cautious, please try to work with the battery off if you're not very comfortable working with electronics generally. A slight update to the channel, I've not been uploading regularly lately as I am currently restructuring both my work area and the YouTube channel. As you can see, this is not my usual work area. And that includes the desktop troubleshoot series which I started, but due to the space issue currently, it has to be on hold for a short while, but we will finish it soon. But I do have tons of exciting new content coming up in the meantime, including maybe a live session, so do stay tuned for that. Now, just put the bezel back on, it just snaps in, and don't worry if it doesn't snap back in snug at first, just work around it, it will go in with a little bit of patience. Hopefully this was a relatively easy tutorial for you to follow. That's the end of today's video. Couple of final notes before the outro. This video was not sponsored. You will find show notes and links to everything I've talked about in the description below and in the cards above. 
Any affiliate link to sites like Amazon or eBay is clearly identified and if you click them and follow through with the purchase, it will not cost you anything extra and you will help the channel with a small kickback, so it's a win-win for everyone. One more thing, if you want to ask a question, please be as specific as possible, including all the relevant details. You can check out this video, which I did called The Art of Asking the Wrong Question, where I address this very common problem so we can help each other out without getting frustrated and wasting time. That's it for today, folks. Like, dislike, share this vid and comment below. And if you found the content helpful, consider subscribing to help the channel and keep you notified of future videos. Once again, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much for watching. This was Ash from Hill My Tech helping you go from newbie to techie. Until next time, peace out.